Do you want to know everything about tightless irons? This is the ultimate tightless iron comparison of 2021. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing, joined by fellow Master Club Fitter, Danny Farrell. Danny, how are you doing today? Great, great. Um, we're gonna dive into the new Titleist line. Some changes there, but what to expect. Our players have a better idea of what head they might wanna try when they come in. Right, yeah, so these are my favorite videos to do. I love Same. doing the ultimate comparison, comparing the entire line for manufacturers or entire line for say game improvement or cavity back irons. But today we're lucky enough, we got Titleist. Mm -hmm. Recently we've had newer Titleist irons released, especially the, the T line. True. So there's the new 2021 models. Uh, there's really not gonna be coming out anything else coming out in 2022 and he figured no. Now's the time to, to do this comparison and see sure. how they all compare. So first off, let's talk about the differences in loft. Okay. Loft is always going to be a big influence on how far the ball goes. Always, yep. We are going to have a wide range here with the six models that we're comparing from okay. 26 degrees all the way up to 35 degrees. Yeah, yeah. so a wide, wide range. I mean, take a look at the club heads already. We pretty much know where the strong is and where the weak is, right? Just by the size of the club head alone. So we'll start, the, the T400 was a 26 degree head. Um, so one of the more stronger, if not the strongest on the market today. So then the next one's the T300. Yeah, so the T400's got 26, mm -hmm. T300's got 29. Okay. So 29 degrees of loft on it. Okay. This is considered more in, in your, your game improvement category, I'd consider T400 max game improvement. Mm -hmm. But game improvements for someone that's you know, needing some forgive, forgiveness, but want to look at it down an iron, it looks, it looks pretty good for a game improvement iron, honestly. It does, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, moving on, T200. T200's in that player's distance iron category. True. So one thing that's unique about T200 in 2021 is the loft actually went up. It did. It's, it's not very often you see that, but right. it went up from 30 to 31. So yep. the 2021 T200 iron is 31 degrees of loft on it. Okay. T100S. So it looks kind of like the T100, but True. it's a little bit stronger lofted. It's got a little bit more forgiveness and a little bit more tungsten in yep. there yeah. to help. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is really important with regards to irons and right. uh, 32 degrees loft on it. So similar package, I mean similar loft, just a little bit smaller profile compared to the T2. Right. T100. T100, mm -hmm. this is your player's iron. This, you see a lot of guys on tour play them. It's not a full blade or anything like that, but it looks like one. It does, but it's loaded with a lot of tungsten. You brought up that too. That way it aids players in that forgiveness level too. So it'll be interesting to test what all the lofts do, what all the designs do, and how they all compare. Right. And then finally, you've got the Titleist CB. CB yep. or even MB, they're the exact same specs. The only right. thing with the MB is it's just ever so slightly top of thin, thin line, essentially. But yep. they're the exact same. They're both 35 degrees of loft on them. Mm -hmm. You don't have the fitting head for the MB, but if you're going to fit someone into it, the CB is going to give you exactly what you need. Same, same. Yep, and then we're all going to be testing with the same exact golf shaft, one that you already play and have been playing for a while. The yep. Project X 6.5 LZ at standard length and ultimately standard lie angle for all these two at 63 degrees. Yep, and then also the Titleist Pro V1X golf ball with the RCT, Yeah. Uh, so we'll be testing that, so we'll make sure the data is very, very reliable. Love it, love it. Well, let's get after it and see what the differences in all these six irons are. Sure. Okay, Thomas, we're gonna lead out with that T200. The law did change, you brought that up from 30 to 31. So let's lead out with that kind of work our way up from there and then kind of slide back to the T100 family after that. Sounds like a good plan. So, Thomas, we're just kicking off this ultimate titles comparison. Talk to me about the, the leader so far, the first one out, the T200. Talk to me there. Yeah, it's a very clean looking club. I think of all those clubs in that distance player's iron category, okay. it's got a little sl smaller, sleeker look to it. So okay. the top line's a little bit thinner, not as much offset, which I do like out of a distance player's iron. Okay. Did notice the spin rate was you know, a little on the lower side, so we do know that loft is a little bit stronger than I'm used to playing. Right. But 31, it's, you know, it's, not like, it's not really, really low. Talk to me about sound. 
I know you kind of watching you a few times, kind of looking at the club head after strike. Do you pick up on anything there with the sound at impact? It's it's quite loud. It's okay. a it's a little clicky, okay. but it's it's a very solid feel. Okay. It's not the forged feel that I'm used to playing. Right. It's just rock solid off the face. Okay. And it's felt, it just felt explosive is what it felt like. Love to me. it. Yeah. Love it. So let's kind of jump into what Trackman's telling us, what we learned from that stuff too. This right. is a great baseline for us moving forward. So yeah, so club speed, my goal here is to keep that within a mile an hour okay. as we're testing all these irons to make this a great comparison. So we're at 88.6. Okay. Usually it's pretty close to my, my seven iron numbers, so yeah. it should be pretty easy. Ball speed 120, 7.6 and smash factor 144. And we know that's just a little bit more than I'm used to getting out of my seven iron, right. the loft. Yep. The loft because it's three degrees stronger than my traditional seven iron 34. Yeah. Uh, launch angle, 18.1 was really good. Spin rate, just a little lower than I'm used to seeing. Mm -hmm. Once again, it's the loft there. And then just a little bit further distance that I'm used to seeing there too. Normally right. I'm about a 178 carry. Okay. That was about 186. So yeah. if you're a golfer, you want a little bit more distance, and also a little more forgiveness. The T200 is a great option. 100%, 100%. So let's kind of move into the T300 next. Okay. See how those numbers compare. Better swing. So, Thomas, we just kind of hit the T300. What, what stood out to you there from look, feel, sound? Talk to me about that. Slightly more explosive sound than the T200. I'd yeah. say it's in a very similar category. Okay. But the, the profile at address is a little bit larger, so it will yeah. inspire a little bit more confidence for sure. sure. I felt like it hit the ball a little bit straighter with this model too. Mm -hmm. That one thing that, pointed, that stood out to me is just how easy it was to hit this thing straight. Okay. Okay. So let's kind of jump into the numbers. Now we did experience a little bit of a loft change too, right from 31 in the T200 to 29 in the T300. Yep. So, you know, again, club speed the same, ball speed came up marginally, which is good. But look at the change in the launch conditions though. Two degrees different. It's with funny. The, with the same attack angle, similar <laughs> club path, sim I mean, the exact same delivery, literally. Wow, that club is- Club path, face. <laughs> Face path and attack. So the same delivery, you know, that T300 might be a little bit better for players that need to lower that ball flight a little bit. That was dramatically yeah. different there. I mean, if you're looking for the perfect comparison, this is Here as robotic as it possibly can get. You, right. you can't get those numbers any better with club speed, launch, spin. Yeah, this is exactly showing what's gonna happen if you're, gonna, if you're considering either T200 or T300. Absolutely, yep. absolutely. I mean, dramatic lower spin rate too. You know, about 400 RPMs different there. So about 60 yards of carry. But between those swings, less than two yards different in carry. I mean, I would agree, looking at dispersion so far, we did hit uh, the T300 a little bit straighter. So great point there. Right, yeah, it, was, it felt pretty easy to hit. As I mentioned, Inspire, Inspire's confidence looking down. It's got a little bit more offset on it. Okay. So that might help straighten the boy out a little bit too. But sure. I mean, for a game improvement iron, it felt pretty good. It yeah. definitely did. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, kind of turn up the heat a little bit, change the loft from 29 to 26 to the T400. All see right. See what's going on. Close, 88.6. It's the other direction. So, just came out of the T400. Talk to me about look here, Thomas. This is completely different. Yeah, it's, it's large. Mm -hmm. It's uh, from heel to toe, definitely designed to inspire confidence for sure. And it's got a pretty large sole on the bottom as well. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I struggled with those swings. I didn't really put okay. together the best swings on, the, on those shots, okay. but I feel like I still got away with it. Yeah. I didn't really have any that I feel like got right out of the middle, but it just seemed like it was still respectable numbers. Sure, sure. So, you know, let's take a look at the numbers. Now, remember, we are making another change in loft, right? From 29 
um, down to uh, 26 right now. Right. So. Yeah, so now you would expect a little bit more ball speed, mm -hmm. a little higher efficiency there, lower launch, less spin, higher carry, yep. a little bit more of a release out yeah. you would, you'd, you'd expect there. So you notice 199 going 213. Right. But that's where it can be a little challenging for a golfer like myself. I don't spin the ball enough. True. So if total distance is what you're after, it's a great option. But if, you, if you've got bunkers or water or something you've got to carry, you're just trying to stop the ball in the green, yeah. it can be a little bit of a concern. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, let's kind of. It's a it's a hot rocket, is what it is. It just it just goes super yeah. far. It definitely sounded like it, you know, in this controlled environment. The the sound was definitely a little bit more snappy. I'll call it off the club head. Yeah. So that ball speed definitely jumped up quite a bit. So it'll be interesting to see how that compares to the T100 line where we're going next. Yeah. Now we're going more into more of a, a players. Players iron category yeah. where I'm gonna expect a little more spin. Yeah. Might be a little more workability. Yeah. Yeah. That was a better swing finally. Yep. That was a good swing too. Well, Danny, you just made life hard on me. <laughs> Going from T400 to the, the CB, that was definitely a different look and different feel. Yeah, so talking through that, I mean, the T T400, you brought up very easy to hit, very launch, effective, you know, bring, breeds a lot of confidence. Now I threw the exact opposite at you. Okay, so talk us through there. Yeah, I mean, uh, feel to start with. Okay. Very explosive, very firm feel with, uh, I mean, T200, 300, and 400. Okay. Forged feel, pure forged feel, felt really soft off the face. Okay. Didn't feel like the ball was exploding off the face mm -hmm. and go flying into the screen. It was just sure. nice buttery feel. Okay. Uh, a lot less offset for sure looking down at it. And I, lo I lost some distance because the loft is a lot weaker essentially. Right, because right, now we're back up to 35 or more traditional than loft, right? The last right. one was T400 at 26. Now we're up on the other side of the spectrum at 35. Yep. So. Yeah, and I'll also add in too, and I know I was so focused on trying to get that club speed within, you know, around about 88 miles an hour for every club, yeah. which I did, but I felt like it was a little harder for me to swing this one because the T400 head just felt a lot lighter as well. Mm, okay, yeah. okay, great feedback there. So let's, uh, kind of, you want to go over some numbers? Yeah, let's look at the numbers. Or? I mean, it'd be interesting just to take a look and see CB versus the others. Yeah. Now we're... You know, we're seeing less ball speed. We're seeing uh, the spin rate being higher. So you can you could even order the spin on those on those four shots right off the bat. Yeah. So now we, yeah we've got a wide range in in spin. So you can see at the lowest end of the spectrum we've got the T400 4,000 RPMs of spin. Yeah. The higher end of the spectrum we've got the CB at 5,800 RPMs of spin. Yep. The loft is kind of doing it doing its job right there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, dispersion wise. We know that CB isn't nearly as friendly, right? So, right. But otherwise, very, very consistent. I mean, we can almost build a bag just on those clubs themselves for you. <laughs> I mean, in terms of gapping, right? That's, that's long. funny. Right. <laughs> so yeah. let's, uh, let's go into the more friendly T100S next. OK. That felt a little bit more explosive again. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So now we're, you know, jumping into the T100 line, something a little bit newer. So talk to me about the T100S. It's a little bit supercharged compared to the T100. So talk to me about this one. I mean, even if it's supercharged, it felt incredibly good. It looked incredibly good. Yeah. This is where I'm more comfortable. The look of, of an iron, the CB was a little too small for me. Okay. T400 clearly is a little <laughs> too large for me. So right. the last three irons that I've hit, this just felt more comfortable. I yeah. like the offset looking down at it. For 32 degrees of loft on it, this is a this is a great looking club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very very good. Felt good, forged, forged feel. Yep. Um, I like what they've done with their with their more of their satin finish now yeah. as well. Uh, the previous models they're kind of a little bit shinier, okay. but the satin finish looks great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Talk to me about the the clickiness you heard earlier 
with some of the, the you know, T2, T3, T4. Have you been hearing that at all once we go into the more of the players type irons? It doesn't even exist. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't I, even yeah. exist. Yeah. yeah. Pure, well, pure forged soft pottery feel. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Love it. So let's see how it compares numbers wise for us. So we're kind of right in the middle now. You know, that CB was at 35 on the head. Now we're at 32 here. Yep. So you know, we should expect a little bit more ball speed, which we did get from the CB. Right. A um, little bit lower launch, which we would expect there too. Again, the spin would also partner with that and keep that a little bit lower too. So overall, very, very similar. And out of the ones we've hit so far, I would say visually watching you, this looks like it's the most comfortable for you so far. All right. Yeah, it, it felt really felt really good off the face. Nice, comfortable, nice straight shots, which yeah. is, I was very happy with. Yeah. But yeah. I, I think, you know, when we're fitting in the bays, once we find a player, their head and shaft combination, they, we see exactly this, where a player gets comfortable with it, and it's just night and day compared to other ones as well. Right. So I think we've got one more iron to finish out this test, the T100. All right, let's test it. Felt good. God. Oh, that felt so good. Oh, that felt so good. So, we just finished up all the head testing. So, thanks for all the time and effort going into that. Talk to me about this one. Anything different there with the T100? It's, I mean, it looks very similar to the T100S. Okay. I think that's the obvious answer. Right. Um, <laughs> it's just, we know the T100S has got a little less loft on it. Yeah. It feels good. Okay. So good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's the category that I would like to play when I'm playing. It's not a full on blade, but it, it looks really good at address. I mean, there's a lot of tour guys that are playing this. 100%. They want just a little bit more forgiveness out of the club. And it performs really well. It's workable, flies straight. It's, it feels good. It's it's like the the perfect combination of what a tour player is looking for, really. Awesome, awesome. So yeah. let's kind of see where the numbers kind of finished out. Now, you know, thankfully, you your swing being as consistent as it is, we can see the the things changing as the club itself changes, loft to ball speed ratio, spin yep. rates as well. So let's kind of go back to the beginning. My or, goal as we were hitting was two things. Yep. I was trying to give the viewers a very consistent swing based on club speed okay. and based on attack angle. Sure. Now, of course, face angle, that's going to be player dependent. That's going right. to, if the player has the face open or closed, we know it's going to fly a little higher if the face is open. It's going right. to fly a little lower if it's closed. Right. It might spin a little bit more if it's open. But yeah. my goal to, for, the, for these six clubs was trying to get my club speed within about half a mile an hour and have that attack angle around about negative two and a half was kind of my, was my goal. So yeah. I, I'm curious to see where we're at there just before we uh, take a look at these numbers. So club speed range from, it looks like 88.1 to 89.4. Yep. So it's basically within one mile an hour. Yeah. Um, if we go over to the right, we can take a look at the attack angle. We're talking negative hey. 2.9 to negative 1.6. So it's within 1.3 degrees. So, I mean, it's about as good as you're gonna get for a comparison unless you're testing yeah. with Iron Byron. We <laughs> can't afford <laughs> like, <laughs> like any kind of tech like that, unfortunately, but right. uh, this is right. about as good as it's gonna get for a comparison on comparing numbers based on club speed and attack angle. Right, yeah. right, so kudos to you. Really, really good work there. I know it's a long session for you, but going over numbers now, the CB will kind of lead out with the bottom. Remember, that's the highest lofted, least forgiving option that we saw today. Yep. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you see the ball speed range, 123.5. And then as we kind of go up in loft, we go yep. T100, T100S. You can see how that, that ball speed number just kind of gradually goes up. Right, mm. right. It makes, makes sense. It, it, it follows the loft. Okay. It, exact, it follows the loft Absolutely. exactly in the direction that you would expect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in terms of, you know, talk to me about the player that might fit into the T100 versus the, the T300, for example, T100 first. Yeah, so T100 is good for a player, well, good players, mm -hmm. well, for one that want to play a club that's workable, okay. that looks really good at address, but a golfer that needs a little more spin is okay. what, I, what I would say. Okay. Um, it's got a little tungsten in the bottom, which is going to 
create just a little bit more spin for the player, sure. which is what I, I need. I know for sure I, I definitely need there as well. And um, yeah, you can see the spin rate, 5600. 5, it's yeah. kind of where I would be for 34 degrees, seven iron. Yeah, you know, we want to say that's low. You right. Know, but could, could you, you know, gain from a little bit more? Sure. Right. You know, but let's talk about the T300 player. Because it's a really dramatic change. I mean, three miles an hour in ball speed from the two. Okay. Significantly less spin, and significantly less lo launch angle, and yeah. pick up 12 yards of carry distance. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's probably like your, your mid handicap golfer, mid to higher okay. handicap golfer that's looking for a little bit more forgiveness. Uh, not going to the point of needing to go T400, okay. but just must, you know, wants the forgiveness out of the, out of the irons, looking sure. for a game improvement. Sure, yeah. sure. Okay. So you know, to kind of wrap things up, we'll kind of look at the dispersion table. You know, on the low side, that CB, we can see the forgiveness in there, right? We kind of lost a little bit of that. Right. But as we kind of work your way up, T100 here in the green, T100S, so a little bit stronger lofted, so at 32. Um, and then kind of working our way into where we first started today in the T, T200 at 31. Yep. And then it worked into the T300, and ultimately your you know, bomber for, for players that want absolute pure distance alone, the T400 delivered on that category. Right. I mean, looking at the dispersion patterns, there's definitely a couple of clear winners there. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking at T300, that, that yellow circle for game for an iron, mm -hmm. in fact, it's going that far and it's that tight. Yes. Very good. Yeah. That's that's very good for a game for an iron. Um, T100, T100S. They were both uh, kind of right where I was trying to hit the yep. ball as well, yep. and gave more of the profile, spin profiles and distance numbers that I'll be looking for out of those clubs sure. too. Sure. Sure. Uh, but you can see a CB. I lost a little bit of forgiveness there. It's no surprise that went the shortest because it has the higher amount of loft on it. Yep. It's no surprise the T400 went the furthest. It's got the least amount of loft on it. Um, all very, very good options. Uh, they all feel very different. So you yeah. mean talking about feel, the forged feel with CB, T100, T100S, sure. they feel a lot softer off the face. Okay. And when you start getting to the T200, it's a little bit firmer off the face, a little bit louder, okay. and then it gets louder, and then it gets louder. Right, yeah. <laughs> especially in a controlled environment inside. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, you'll find when you go with less loft in the club, you're gonna need more wedges on the bottom side of the bag too. So it's important to come in and get fit for not only the irons, but the rest of the bag that you know, plays off the irons as well. Right. To finish up, I want to take a look at peak height and okay. I look at landing angle, because that's very important when it comes to, to fitting. Uh, I just want to see how that ranges when we have that low amount of lo loft yes. or that high amount of loft. Okay. Um, yeah, so if you look here, you can see landing angle. If you're going to you know, rank the height in, in order, you can see that I think it's the T400, which will be the lowest, actually through a under 100 feet in the air. Yep. Uh, landing angle under 45. So well, the way I deliver the club, that would be a concern. Because yep. my stopping power kind of went down. Well, 199 going to 13, 14 yards of stopping power. Right. So it's a little more challenging there. Um, 47, 49 degrees is a good, uh, to 50 degrees is a good spot. So you notice the next four there were right ideal with regards to landing angle and spin profiles. Yeah. Yeah, and this is a perfect case if, you know, if we have a player where we're having an issue holding the greens, making it stop, what's the solve for that? Adding more spin. So if, if you're finding that you're having trouble holding greens out there, you know, we need to add more spin for that. And there's also the flip side of the coin too, where we're, it's ballooning up into the air, we're losing distance. That's where Titles does a great job on fitting a whole spectrum of players makes it easy for us too to dial in that player's game. Yeah, and then finally, like with the T400s, it's, it, with it being strong and lofted, if you play a golf course where you don't have much trouble in front of the green and all you're do, trying to do is you've got a slower speed and you're trying to get a little more distance out of your clubs, yeah. it's not a bad option. It's right. not gonna land on the greens and stop really, really fast unless the green's really soft. Sure. But if all you care about is getting that thing to, to the certain yards and getting a little more distance, it's definitely a good option for that player too. Love that, love that. And obviously, you know, any club head that we've tested today, we do have the ability to put graphite into play too, you know, to aid those players out there as well. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Thomas, again, thank you so much for the time and effort that you put into today. So guys, let us know feedback on the video. If you liked it, smash that like button, hit subscribe. Let Thomas and I know 
what titles iron you think you might fit into or how is it played for you in 2021? 